There are several parts to a discussion, but I want to focus here on the main section where you discuss the results and link them to previous literature. First thing you have to do is organize everything by research question. So you should have organized your literature view by research question. You should have organized your results by research questions and you organize the discussion by research questions. The main purpose of the article or your paper is to answer research questions. So for example, let's pretend that I'm looking at attitudes and behaviors and performance with respect to laptops. I might have the question, what are students' attitudes towards laptops? It might be secondary school students' attitudes. Uh, so I need a title. I don't put the research question. I use an abbreviated phrase like students' attitudes towards laptops. And then I discuss the results that I found. Now, what you need to do, and this is a bit hard in a long paper, is go back to the results section and go question by question. So you take the student attitudes towards laptops results and you find that section in your results and then you identify now you could print it out and highlight it and have it on your desk while you're actually writing your discussion i've done that or if you have a big enough monitor you can summarize the results the key results only not every result the key results that you found that you think are important to highlight and present all right, so you make that list. You can do it in Word and have uh, and on the say the right hand side of the screen, and then you can have your discussion on the left hand side where you're going to actually write about it. So for each, you're in, now you're in uh, talking about a specific section like student attitudes towards laptops. You have a list of say five results that you want to discuss. So for each result, okay, so let's we take a look at one result and say students are positive towards attitude. Secondary students are positive towards laptops. Uh, they get excited about them, whatever. So the first thing you do is you summarize the result. Now you don't restate everything in the results section because the results section has already done that. You clearly summarize without numbers what, or generally without numbers, you might say, well, how half the students were positive about um, laptops or more than half or whatever. But generally you try to do without numbers because the results are the numbers part and you're just summarizing the result. So you clearly summarize the result, step one. Then you go to your literature review. And remember that you organized your literature review based on research questions. So you go to the student attitudes toward laptops and you see how every literature result that you've reported on matches or is relevant, actually is relevant to your result. So you find all the literature that's relevant to the result that you're going to report. Okay, that's step two. Step three is you have to note whether the result matches previous research, does not match previous research, or is a new result altogether. If the result matches previous research, research, you're essentially done, but you have to state that. You say um, stu secondary students are positive towards laptops when used in a constructivist-based classroom. This is consistent with results reported by uh, a number of previous studies, and then you can list the studies. You may want to talk a little bit more about the matches. This matches the three previous studies by Kay, Smith, and Wesson. Um, and, and then you're done. So you just, you actually note that they match and then move on to the next key result that you want to report. If the result does not match, your task is a little more challenging. What you state is that um, uh, you found that students' attitudes towards laptops are positive, but this is not consistent with previous research where four to five studies, and then you can use brackets, noted that students had negative attitudes towards laptops. This is where your thinking has to go on because now you have to sort of, how do we close this gap? 
you then have to speculate and you're speculating. So you could say one possible reason for this is previous studies looked at students who were younger than 10 years old. This study uh, looked at secondary school students who may be able to use laptops or have better use for laptops, have more uses, and therefore they're more positive. Then at that point you would say, if you because you don't know because it's speculation, future research in this area might help to identify why these results don't match or um, future research focusing specifically, more specifically on what students don't like might help reconcile these differences. I'm, I'm kind of making this up, but what you want to do is provide insights uh, based on your research based on what's happened what happened here why doesn't your why don't your results match maybe you were more careful maybe you had a better scale who knows but you you identify that you don't go on and on about it cuz you don't want to go into fantasy land about possible things that you that may or may not exist but you do want to identify perhaps insights or explanations why results don't match that's the tricky one if you have a new result well, you're kind of done. You you, you would say, uh, we found that um, uh, students' attitudes towards laptops were, um, they hated them. Um, previous research didn't, has not um, reported this or has not looked at attitudes. Now, I know that that research has looked at attitudes, but let's pretend that student attitudes, you could say secondary school students' attitudes towards laptops were, were positive. Um, their uh, previous research has only looked at higher education students, so this one study suggests that the results are consistent, but this is a new result um, specifically for the secondary school population. All right, that's how you approach and write a discussion. Let's review. So you're organizing by research questions. For each research question, you find the key results in your results section and summarize them. And you can have them on the paper on your desk, or you can have them in a, if you have a nice big screen, you can have a sheet with all the key summary results. For each result, then you have to go through those results and match them to the previous literature in your literature review. Has to, has to, you have to try to match it and find out what's relevant. Then you report on all the, you, you connect all this research, these results. You connect whether it matches, whether it doesn't match, or whether it's a new result. And that's how you complete this main discussion.